Prepare for your wave ripple fold curtain installation. Take the components out of the bag and you'll notice several different components. You should have two carrier bags, one of them being metal and the other one being plastic. You don't want to use the metal one, simply use the plastic one for all types of insulation. The plastic carriers give a much neater and more symmetrical look compared to the metal one. The first thing you want to do is to take a belt clip and attach it to the end of the belt. Make sure you are using the belt clips that is inside the Wave Runner carrier bags. Do not use the belt clips inside the original box set. Make sure that you secure the belt clip using the other plastic piece. Once that's done, use a carrier to help you thread the belt through the track. Align the belt clip right to the edge of the track. Once the other end is fully aligned, you want to count exactly 23 teeth before you cut. So you want a 23 teeth excess on the belt. Cut after the 23rd teeth. Repeat the same procedure, but this time do it in the opposite direction. Again, make sure that the belt clip is aligned right to the edge of the track. Count 23 teeth before you cut. What you should now have is a 23 teeth excess on both sides. Next, remove the screws from the carriers.
Now selecting the carrier with a dual clip, make sure you're using the one with a dual clip and not the single one. Attach it to one of the belt clips and make sure that the dual clip is facing towards the track. Repeat on the other side. Again, selecting the carrier part with the dual clip and have the dual clip facing towards the track. Select one of the gearboxes. It doesn't matter which one. Thread the belts through the gearbox. Attach a belt clip to the end of the belt. Now you want to attach the wave runners to the carrier. The first thing you need is to remove the first wave runner using a set of pliers pull on the string the runner would detach from the string you can discard that runner pull out the latch on the carrier and place the circular plastic piece inside the carrier make sure you get it right to the bottom and the string should be pointing upwards make sure that the string is pointing upwards put back the cap and make sure that it's fully secure and tightened the cap should be catching onto the string which then secures the whole system together At this stage, it is always a good idea to leave a few extra runners to make sure that you don't undercut.
Now repeat the same procedure to the other side. Remember that the plastic piece should go right to the bottom with the string pointing up and the cap should catch on to the string to give it a tight secure fit. You might need to remove the gearbox cover to get the last few runners in. It is important to put the screws back into the carrier to connect the whole system up. Make sure the runners cover the whole track and once you're ready, cut off the excess runners. Secure the gearbox using the tensioners. Now is a good time to adjust the belt tension. You can simply pull the gearbox out a little bit 
by about one to two millimeters to reach the perfect smoothness. When attaching the curtain tape, you want to be aware of which side of the track is facing towards the room. The waves should always be facing towards the room. At the end, you use the gearbox clips to help you complete the waves. Now repeat the same to the other side, following the exact pattern. 